This is Cameron Chai from azom.com bringing you another episode of azom.com TV and today we're speaking to John Sheen from Thermo Fisher Scientific who's going to run some precious metal demonstrations for us. Thanks Cameron. What we're going to do is show you how the Thermo Scientific Niton XL2 is used to analyze a couple of different samples of gold jewelry. Um, first off what we'll do is we'll measure a, uh, a gold link bracelet and it's as simple as taking the analyzer, putting it directly on the sample, squeezing and holding the trigger, and in a couple of seconds we can see the results indicating that it's got about 58 percent gold and that translates into 14 carat. We can also see the roughly 6 percent silver as well as the zinc and about uh, 28 percent copper present in the sample. Now let's take a look at this wedding band and see how the results differ. So it's as easy as placing the instrument back on the sample Placing the instrument back on the sample, squeezing and holding the trigger, and in a few seconds we can see pretty clearly that this is also a 14 karat gold with 50, with uh, it's got 58 percent gold. It's got a little bit less silver. Now what's interesting and different between this sample and the bracelet that we just measured is that this sample has both white and yellow gold. This ring. And so we can see not only that we have the copper present in the sample, but we also picked up the nickel, which is indicative of uh, the element that's added to make white gold white. All right, John, thanks for that demonstration. And if anyone wants more information on their analyzers, where can they go? They can either go to azom.com or to thermoscientific.com forward slash niton.